Let me get my chapstick out. This was such an unnecessary flex. Oh, I cannot believe I that I'm cutting to the single so I can also participate in your flex because I'm proud of this chapstick. purchase. What's, what's going you on? see this bag, Angel? You He's see the price? unnecessary G's this on this? Yeah. I got this? No, from this CJ is Mark. Gucci. Let me just be yes. clear. Oh, you oh. see the red stripe in the strap, Kevin. Don't you know play I dumb. Was, I thought it was Manchester United. Oh, my God. I didn't know. I saw him with the purse on the other day. I'm running this in the episode. I just got my chapstick. I didn't do nothing special. You don't ever hold your bag that high, Kevin. I, I didn't do, I didn't do <laughs> Why are you covering it? your face with your bag? I just put the chapstick. You never put your chapstick in. Are your you chapstick's always in your pocket because it's always falling out. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was doing. Why? Just give me a little chap. All right. <laughs> Five. Lord. Four. Jesus. Three. What up, y'all? Welcome to Here's the Thing. I'm Kev Austin. She's that chick angel. Welcome to another Banger Banger podcast of an episode Banger 2021. Banger I forgot how to use this. Back in the office. Banger. 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 Kings of the podcast. Banger. Kings and queens of the podcast. Kings of the, smash kings that of like the pod. Smash that notification of the button. Pod. Banger. Subscribe Banger. to the Patreon. Banger. Banger. Download the Kev Austin Studios app. Please do it. The rent is due. Because Cisco Every month. Pew, 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 has it. Pew, pew. Angel. Kev. We're back. Hey. Back in the building. Because no weapons. No. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. This is weapons Arm. everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No weapon farm. Yeah. Huh? A hoe couldn't do it. Hey. A rake. Hey. The tractor trailer. Hey. All the weapons may fall. <laughs> God didn't say the bullets might be hey. shot. Ha. The arrows may be pulled. Ha. But when ha. my God said my God. they won't prosper, no, they no. can build it. Pull. They can fire it. Hey. They can aim it at you. Yeah. But it won't yeah. prosper. In the end, hey. you win. Ha. If you haven't won, you're on the wall. Okay, the game ain't over. Uh-huh. You could be down to water. <laughs> 45. Oh, 45. At halftime. Come on. But my God. My he's going to make an adjustment. Uh-huh. And he's going to uh-huh. turn it around. Turn it around. High five your neighbor uh-huh. and say it ain't over. It ain't Watch over. this, Angel. It may be <laughs> time. He's speaking in tongues uh-huh. in the chat. At the end of the fourth he's quarter. Come on. God said. What did he say? This one's going. Going in overtime. Oh, oh my God. It's <laughs> over your time. Come on. But it's under God's time. Yeah. We're gonna win. Oh, we're gonna win. Roll tide. <laughs> Roll that gum tide. <laughs> That's All right, <laughs> welcome to the first in studio episode of Here's the Thing. I am so very excited to be with you today. I am too. Before we start. Church announcement. Shouts to the Patreon. They're speaking in tongues in the Shouts chat. Shouts to the Patreon. Bang, bang, You can bang, join bang, that bang, bang. by going to KevinStage.com. There you go. Okay, Patreon now. It's our community. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, we, we go live in there. Mm-hmm. We do all types of fun activities, merch discounts. It's the family. It's the stage crew. La familia. Yeah. That's where we show love. Mm-hmm. Okay, starts at $3 a month now. Look at uh, you. Really? way to watch this live. I took it down. For the people, because I want to, you know what I'm saying? I'm mad at the people. Yeah. I ain't never going to forget what it was like when I ain't had no nothing. You so sweet. You understand me? When I was working at the bank, uh-huh. I, I, I want to think about people who was where I was with them two kids when my daycare was more than my mortgage. Come on. I know what it was mean. like. Listen, I, that $5, it's a lot. It is. So let me tell you what I didn't know. <laughs> next next app. <laughs> I mean, next church announcement. Download the Camel State Studios app. Come, now, come, we had a call with the people, Angel. Tell me what they say. Okay, the now there was something in the fine print. My God. Oh, my God. Who, Jesus. When I, when I found out. What was in the fine print? Oh, bread? what the app stores was taking. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. Google said, hey, you, you got you a little app, huh? Oh, no, nice. they didn't. What about 30% of that? 30%? Oh! I said, and now you know the the, the, the people taking it. So that $6, you think we getting six? Oh. You know what we getting, John? 380. I, just, I don't know math like that, but it's it, it, 30% less oh, than six. Next yeah. year, the price of the brick is going up. Clack, clack. I said, uh, Google, why y'all taking it? Because we said we can. <laughs> Apple it used to be 30, it's now might be 15 because of some antitrust laws. But I said, bro, we, I That's thought we could buy it out, bro. 380. 380. 380. For just being there. Oh, my God. Oh. They 30%. It's not like they helped make the app. 30%. I, that. 
Oh, that uh, you talk. And about on, that, on top of that, here. I got the budget for phase one of the office. Oh, I said, what? They when, just taking all the money I to come said, in. All I of said, it. Said, is that due at once? It's just this is just the podcast studio. Bathrooms and like one. Forget and, uh, for, studio throw one. the bathrooms out. There's a McDonald's around the corner. We can we can figure that you know out. What? God is a way maker. Come on, somebody. Keeper. Hey, hi. Bridge over troubled water. Trouble God will give you the vision without provision. Come, come on, on Kev. Huh? Hey, say it again. He said it. Oh, come on again. Come on, somebody. Just like the woman, the prophet that asked for a little bread. A little bit and of bread. She said. Prophet, I will. This is all we got. Mm-hmm. We're going to eat this no, bread and die. Huh. And the prophet said, What is that? Before you do this, just make me a cake. He said, Woman, patty cake, patty cake. Bake a cake. Bake a man. Ha. Bake me a cake. Yeah. How fast? As fast as, as, as you can. can. Let him know. Okay. And she baked the cake. Come on now. When she gave. Come on. When she should have hoarded. Mm-hmm. Yes. Her, oh my God. Ha. Her little meal, her flour and oil. Lasted throughout the famine. Uh-huh. Come, on, you get, come on, if you believe God has given it to you, oh, he'll give you that Betty Crocker blessing. Huh? Huh? You don't have to bake it and take. So I got to invest in the infrastructure. Yes, mm-hmm. you do. So Too that bad. it can, oh, so it can yield reward. I feel heaven on thirty percent in feel abundance it. is what it needs 30%, to yield. Listen, they can take that thirty percent because that other seven. Yeah. Where's that going? Belongs to God. <laughs> Speaking huh. of church. Oh, yes. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about somebody. It's been great transition. This uh, was smooth. <laughs> the smoothest of it's them like all. It was planned. Uh, this mm. pastor, mm-hmm. former church pastor. Yes. Uh, and Josh, you got to put this. Um, we probably won't be able to monetize this. We know what it is. What? Former church pastor now makes 100K a month as a life coaching stripper. Nicole Mitchell ditched her life as a pastor in Ohio three years ago. Now lives in California making a living in the sex industry, the New York Post says. Mitchell of Mama 3, who describes herself as a pastor turned stripper life coach model. Mm, that's a lot of things. A lot, a lot of, of, ha- of stripper yes. life coach. I wonder if, if they're, they're ordered by prioritization. <laughs> right. I think it's tor- by pay. Oh, okay. uh, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <clears throat> on her Instagram, both she makes, a, she has 120,000 followers on Instagram. She charges $15 a month for sexy subscription on her OnlyFans account and Zoom session. She now makes 100 bands a month, eclipsing her former salary. And she's had a great 2020. Uh, <laughs> well. Yeah. I mean. Um, she said that her dreams came true. She got disillusioned with Christianity after mentions of her mixed race heritage and bisexuality were edited out of her sermons. Sermons, So she quit the church Quit the church in 2017. Now she makes 100 bands as a life coach stripper model and Zoom sessionist. Only fans have her. I mean, I, the, the, the picture of her, I'm like, well, at least. You know, she looks the way she does. Could you imagine if T.D. Jakes decided? <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Could you imagine if the bishop said, uh, <laughs> get ready, get ready, get ready. on <laughs> somebody's only fans. Uh, you know, it's it's weird to me to make that big of a jump. It's like, <laughs> what was in your mind all this time while you were putting your sermons together? Like, Thessalonians. Nipples. Wait a minute. <laughs> no, nope, I don't think that could work. <laughs> nipples. Nipples. Like, what got you there? <laughs> there's, there's so many. She could have just went preacher to life coach, but she said, I, "This body is right. <laughs> Let me put a thong on and make it clap. Let me get the the whole offering." I guess is what she was trying to say. It's so. It's just a, like you used to be a minister. Was that your thought in your head? Like, or I ain't, I ain't got the body to shake balls. <laughs> I just don't. I look at myself in the mirror and I'd be like, Melissa, I don't see it. <laughs> I, I really don't. I don't. Ha- I don't. Men don't. It, we're, our bodies are not as attractive enough, especially without muscles. Mm. Without I, muscles and abs, you're out of there. Um, I no, know, there I are men minister, who don't care. Huh? There are men who don't care and still be slinging it around with belly and make money at Magic Mike's. Um, no, I told you that one strip club I went to out here in L.A. There's the dudes be having regular body, regular it's, body. It's a touch of mics. It's, yes, it's, it's like a hint, <laughs> a hint, a touch of mics. Yes, if you like Magic Mike, you'll love. Yeah, that. but I here, listen. I contend and I believe it. There are more men built like me. I am the norm. <laughs> Okay, people always make fun of me, Kev, you bad Bill. I see the rest of us. <laughs> I see you. I remember when it really changed for me. Me and Melissa was in Hawaii the first time, I think. we were. It was a sale on Alaska Airlines. We used to work at Key, I worked at Key Bank. 
It was like $189 round trip. Come, wow. That's, I just was like. And it wasn't by boat? It wasn't it was, by paddle Alaska boat? Alaska Airlines had a, it was going viral <laughs> on Tacoma boat. Facebook. It was like, yo. And I just went on there and got it. My homeboy had a had a hotel hookup. We got to stay at the Weston Boana Surf Rider Come Resort. On, Weston, on your first time? For, for $50 a night. Oh, wow. Now, our room was situated Perfectly in front of the air conditioner of the hotel. <laughs> no. and talk about this thing. It was dumpster trash. We ain't get to see no beach. It was like, shut up. You got the $50 room, hush. Yeah. But when I was walking around the beach of Hawaii, I said, man, these people is out here. Like, I'm not wearing no shirt. Yeah. My they... body is calling to its natural form. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and at that point, I said, listen, man, I'm going to be a beacon for the regular people. And I still work out, eat healthy at times. And, um, Whatever. Say <laughs> whatever. At, at times. times work Sometimes out. I eat healthy, uh -huh. but I'm regular Bill. Now, the problem is what I was, I, you know, I was, when I was a youth pastor, I was, you know, it was like fruit baskets and, right. and a little blessed. <laughs> I got money where they had to close your hand up. Before. Right. <laughs> just, we don't want you to see it. <laughs> Right off. That first beginning, it's just, <laughs> when I used to preach at other churches, this yeah. fruit basket was big. And then we just wanted to, <laughs> when, any, anytime they hand you the money and, and close your hand and say, we just wanted to bless you, you know ain't nothing in there. And nothing they but a dub. It, a, it might a be holy, a little dub. A little dub. <laughs> and what you going to do with that? They call it a Holy Ghost handshake. The Holy Ghost ain't in this. <laughs> He ain't in There's this. There's no room in there for Jesus. No, uh, right. <laughs> they, they, they put some. One time I got like, I don't know, 87 bucks and like and 14 cents. I was like, why you close the change up in? Who they gave put me the, the change? change? They why reached in the bottom of the offering. They're like, there got to be something in here. Let me just. <sighs> why are you giving me a loose amount? Like, you say, this whole amount is odd number. Right. People want to get paid in even 87, 13. What am I going to do with that? I preach hard in colored contacts. <laughs> Hold on, Kevin. You did not have colored contacts. Josh, I had Hold to, on. Of course we need you to did. find a photo. Of course, you had the hand. I hand. never knew this. Looking like a goddamn old cat. Looking like a coyote preaching to the people I'm with glowing eyes. What color were they? They were angels shirts. This color. You know, I wore hazel, hazel with the light brown. They skin? were more of like mustard brown. He had oh, on. I uh, look like cat. Jellico, jellico, jellico. I preached with colored contacts. He had on Dijon mustard contacts. <laughs> I was mesmerizing. You understand me? <laughs> had the Ivy Park drop of context. <laughs> I've looked for those pictures of color content. Yeah. This, is, this predates Facebook. Oh, uh, but we absolutely man. was right. We all had them. I had blue contacts. <laughs> Did what you really? Oh, <laughs> what is going on? Oh, my God. Why, white girl blue eyes? I, I don't think any white woman had this color blue eyes. I think they had it on Avatar, maybe. But I don't think any human being <laughs> It's, oh, it's on my UK ID. I definitely R would be like. You was in college like, I'm going to Kentucky. I'm going to get the eyes to match. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Hair relaxed down my back. Blue eyes looking stupid. <laughs> my homegirl used to wear, wear purple contact. Yeah. I said, girl, they don't, eyes don't even come in that color. Like they do today. You go to lens grafter, they do. I bet you they oh do. Oh, my. I definitely had the hazel as well. I definitely had the, <laughs> the end of thriller. That's what it was like. Every time you walked in, you were sure. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Yes. They were the, <laughs> they were the ah, end of. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Ah, 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 no, no prescription, mind you, at this time. Right. I didn't even have, I didn't even need glasses. <laughs> I just went and got color contacts with no prescription at all. Like, I'm going to kill them with these. At least you needed contacts. Yes, I did. And I was like, and I'll take them in blue, please. <laughs> did the people look at you crazy? Uh-huh. Yes. And I remember uh, the basketball players at UK. How you doing? How you doing? Looking <laughs> like. blinking a lot. Yeah, looking like Smurfette. Hey. <laughs> Fa la 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 blue eyes. <laughs> you definitely can see it on my ID. Hey, why are you blinking so much? Ah, oh, I just be doing. I want to draw attention <laughs> to where I want you to see. I be blinking they a lot. They be high beams. They're high beams. Oh my god, oh. Angel, you have me hot. I'm hot now. <laughs> it was this sixty degrees outside. <laughs> it is, but it's supposed to be hot. It's, it's supposed seventy three degrees now. 
It's yeah, it's going to be 80 though. It's going to be hot today? It? Yeah, it's going to be 80 this week. Why? This weekend. That's it for LA. That's it. The winter over. We winter. off that. <laughs> we have three, we have three days of winter. We I have know. three days of 40 degree weather. We off that. Now. I, I was just bet, in the cold, I bet cold. we'll have some I bet we'll have some um cold days in February is what I'm thinking. That's usually what happens. You get about a uh a 10 day stretch. It's like an intermission. Mm-hmm. Intermission when it's cold and wet in LA and they'll be like, "All right, we done with that." I too. bet by like mm, February 5th it's going to be cold. Okay. That's a specific right. time. That's Andrew, very good. I put some money on it. Hold you on. bet on you, it? You've yeah. been talking to God. Put a hundred on it. I put a hundred on it. That'll be raining on February 5th. February 5th. Joshua, you hear this? Don't include me on this hundred. No, no, you just no. Okay, no, I just, just want to be clear. You you pointed like I was I'm a part of you. I you, you I'm, remember okay. this part of the video. I'm the, I'm the witness. Patreon, y'all can be in on this bet. I'm signing on the it's witness line. It's got to rain on or by February fifth. Not rain. It's just got to be cold. We gonna bet. What's the weather actually that we got to bet? We are Colder like low sixties or like it's got to be lower than sixty. Lower than sixty by February. I'm a vetted. And bet. listen, if you can't do this bet, you can go onto the app World Series of Poker. Okay, have you ever watched the World Series of Poker on TV and dreamed about winning big like the pros? The official World Series of Poker app lets you play real-time poker with (laughs) poker fans around the world. (laughs) Hone on your skills on uh, hold'em skills on virtual cash games and tournaments. Play in casino mode to go against the house or connect your Facebook account to set up virtual tables with friends. It's as close as the real thing as you can get without the uh, $10,000 buy-in. Now, see, I'm not always going to be betting money here on Kev on stage. So are we betting for real or did you just do that? Because I've been really like... I was like, all in. Kev got excited. I got really excited. I was like, wait, I'm, well, I'm excited, but I don't want to... I wanted people to feel the thrill that you get I when you get the on the World <laughs> Series listen, of Poker I ain't going to hold you, Angel. I've been playing this doggone game. Okay. All my, I have been... Listen, y'all be like, Kev, relax. Don't work. Don't work. Mm-hmm. I be sitting at home like... I need some sort of competitive uh-huh. thing. Like I gotta feel like I'm in some thing. Like, I be killing on World Series of Poker. You understand me? <laughs> it's and, easy to go all in with it. You know what I'm saying? It ain't got the real money. Right. It is so much easier. And then like nobody's going out here um, in uh, to the casinos right now. It's not mm-hmm. the time. Oh, no, you got to you got to be able to go into your little quiet place. Get on there. You can even play. I like to do the free online poker. Yeah, that's, me that's too. The, uh, that's mm-hmm. the type that I like to yeah. play because I got bills. And I don't want to every go month. too crazy. They want it every month. <laughs> we got to pay for the new studio. Right. I right. can't be betting real money all the time. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I got to, I got, I had to write some real checks. Yes, yes. And I'm talking about as soon as I said yes, people will start <laughs> buying wood and stuff. Hey, hold on. And then they want to. Like, can I borrow the truck? I got to go out Home Depot and pick up the material. You was already waiting. <laughs> you was waiting. I'm ready. <laughs> He already so I, had the cart. He already had the cart. Yeah, listen, and so it's good because, like, if you ever have a poker game, you can already like learn on the app. So that's what I like to do is yeah. try to learn how to play poker, so people ain't yelling at me when I play for real. Yeah. So. <clears throat> The World Series of Poker app is a great way to improve your poker skills, and it's free to download. Tired of social distancing? Well, now you can easily set up a virtual poker game with friends, all right? Best of all, you can get one million chips as a bonus gift if you join today, Today. okay? Today. Today. So what's the holdup? Download the World Series of Poker app on the Apple App Store or on Google Play and Amazon now. And don't forget to use our promo code W S O P S K. So that stands for World Series of W-S-O-P-S-K. Poker W-S-O-P-S-K. Stage Crew. Okay? <laughs> for 1 million bonus chips when you sign up. That's 1 million bonus chips when you download the W S O P app using the promo code W S O P S K. W S O P S K. Today. All right. So are we really betting though? Are you just Do you want to bet? I, I just want to know if you lied to me or you just oh no was no it all no part I, of had plan? To, I had to work that, that, that was how all part else would, we were talking about I, I know I was like hey, that's, I that's prophetic thank you because I, I would have asked her a lot of questions about my life if she was right about that after <laughs> <laughs> I could be right you know I could be right I could be uh, but I ain't gonna bet for a tenth okay a hundred dollars for what I just I just don't trust you all right <laughs> so the next story is actually ten times worse than the. Ch- church pastor who quit for only worse yes oh yes. army hammer do you know him no okay so army hammer is an actor he's been in a lot of stuff okay he's been in j edgar mine sorry do you see sorry to bother you no but i boots know riley? he is now that i'm looking at his face okay boots riley uh that's the thing i most i remember him from last he was the the boss in, in sorry to bother you which was um boots riley's film with uh lakeith 
Stanfield. Mm -hmm. Birth of a Nation, all this stuff. Yes. He was in stuff. Mm -hmm. Let me just read to you what happened with Army Hammer Ugh. last week. Okay, now you talk about there's Ugh. freak in the bed. Yeah. You know, the marriage bed's on the file, Josh. Mm. And then there's Army Hammer. Okay, let me just read you the tweets as, as, as they came to me. Multiple victims of Army Hammer came out saying he used his fame to manipulate them to have sex, calling them kitties and and drink and drank their blood. Okay? What in the Hannibal Lecter? Okay? Here's a DM from Army Hammer to a woman. Blech. Army, need your help, ASAP Kitten. You around? I'll phone you later. She says, Yes, how may I be of help, Daddy? He said, Oh my God, when you call me like that, it gets so horny. Next, next thing. Mm -hmm. I need to drink your blood. Why the distance? I'm I'm sorry. Drink. I, I need to literally, sir. <laughs> I need to drink your blood, and then she gonna say, "I am yours, Daddy. I'll help you." And then he said, "I need to rent us a place and set up a list of things I'll mail you about." She says, "Of course, where I'm gonna be so kinky and naughty with you there, all the possibilities." Okay. This other person said he is obsessed with drinking blood. Yeah. This is deeply rooted cannibal side of him. Scary. He was obsessed with drinking my blood. His manipulative behavior rewired my brain to make me see the love in it. You are not alone. Okay. Now, this is this is another one. Okay. So <laughs> uh, this is him to a girl, no response. Oh my God. This made me so, mm, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe, <laughs> yeah, is that even possible? Thinking of holding your heart in my hands and controlling it when it beats. I'm a hundred percent a cannibal. I want to eat you. That's scary to admit. I'd never admitted that before. I've cut the heart out of a living animal before and eaten it while still warm. Okay, the red flags are just everywhere. Oh, okay. Let's Josh, just... No pun intended. And the last DM <laughs> to a girl. Okay. And this is probably the most re realistic of her response. Army, you're my, ha you're my angel. You're made to save me. You're mine. You hear me say it now. She says, I'm yours. I belong to you. He says, say that you're mine. Mine! Mine! <laughs> yes. I own you now. I own you forever. Mm -hmm. She says, I do. I'm yours, daddy. Good girl, your body is so perfect, and it's mine. I'm into you. I need your blood. I crave it. Will you give it to me tomorrow? Don't forget that you're mine. She goes, that topic, once again? And once again? It's what? very intense. <laughs> She's like, can we, can we do something else? <laughs> His response is, I'm intense. I need your blood. I want you to feed me with it. Let me tell you something. The police are on their way. <laughs> Let me tell you something. If somebody tweets me that they want to eat me and they come in to talk, actually chew on me, I'm going to be real mad because I know I would have prepped, okay? <laughs> and you talk about you literally trying to eat me the, all this work I done did. And you in the right, what? <laughs> we going to have an issue. We about to have a real problem. You got to clarify. Everybody sir. throws that around, but this is different. <laughs> Why is this shaking and wax and bathe? You okay. know how hard it is Why to get a wax in the pandemic? Why you, you know how hard it is? I didn't air it out and dried it so there ain't no lint up in there. And you talking about you want to chew on my arm? <laughs> you best forget. Listen, our I'm, European wax center's been closed the entire pandemic. It just I, opened last week. You know, along the book, it's still risk COVID trying to get ready for you. And you over here talking about some where's the steak sauce? You best forget. I got a prohibition waxing like in a groceries. garage. It was cold. Angel, I'll be mad. The more safely, the actress. I'm finna go down on you. Did you bite my thigh? Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. No. Get up. Uh, <laughs> get up. Why are you biting me? Get not, get mm, off. No, no. What is wrong with you? <laughs> uh, oh. You gonna hit him like a mark, a mark yeah, get down? My yeah. gosh. Yeah. Oh no, I would be mad as uh, heck. I'm I like, can't. Oh, am, I, <laughs> I'm like, oh, you were for real, bro? <laughs> I want to eat you. Yes, of course. No, no, no. I I want to I want to bite you and 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 suck your blood. Hold on. Wait, what, what, what are we talking? What are you talking about? Like, nigga, are you anemic? What is happening? What? You're just using like slang and euphemism. She's like, I believe in role play, but this. Wait, I thought this you is... were part of a gang. Like blood. Like, what are you talking about? That's what I thought. You're like, what up, blood? What up, blood? Right, no, yeah. no, no, no. What's, what's, what's up with your, your blood? What, what blood? What's your blood? 
O positive, B, A, B negative. You got me. I'm A, B negative. It's not good for everybody. It's just only good for me. See, uh, so we ain't going to be able to do this. Plus, I got the plasma, uh, the, the plasma that they need. Um, I got an appointment to get more withdrawn tomorrow. So. Man. Uh, I, w- I mean, how? I, it's oh, amazing. It is so, it is, you know, you know, Goody Howard, friend mm-hmm. of the pod, mm-hmm. she said, don't yuck me yum. Goody probably ain't talking about that. Ain't, and Goody doesn't listen to a lot of stuff on them Love Hour After Dark. Uh-huh. You know, scat play. Uh-huh. You know, scat. Yeah. That's something. Okay, mm-hmm. piss and pee. Mm-hmm. Okay, Goody Howard ain't never said nothing about no blood play. Yeah. Like, I need, listen, pee, that's excrement. Yeah. Duke it, excrement. You actually need blood. Right. You ain't never going to pee out. Ain't no. nobody like, ah, oh, he was on the battlefield, he peed out. Mm. He doo-dooed out. You can bleed out. Yeah. What if them bit you on your leg and, and and hit a main artery? Right. Now you're on a thousand ways to die. What happened? He was, she was getting ate out. He bit her leg and she bled out. <laughs> all they, arm. Oh, the, all, the only photo they got angels when she had the baby blue contacts. <laughs> 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 40 year old actress passes away after being <laughs> you bit. And we have this picture from her when she was 19. Like and for whatever never. reason, she had baby blue contents <laughs> on in college. She had and a purple. Yeah, one blue, one purple one. We couldn't figure it out. I don't know. I just. Oh, I just don't understand. I, first of all, he's crazy. I mean, that's. that's I'm yucking that yum. Yes. I'm yucking. sorry, Goody Howard. I'm yucking. That's, yucking. A, that's a yum that got to be. That's probably. During a whole panoramic, a whole pandemic, a whole panda express happening. You, <laughs> we ain't even supposed to be six feet. Right. Come here, let me literally drink your blood. He was like, "That's not airborne. It's, <laughs> it's not airborne. Was You're she, fine." Was she about? Was she about to get fluid out with that stimmy check? I don't <laughs> understand. I told, it, okay, so he's disgusting, but then I don't know how you return back to that. Like, okay, so you don't know that's what's getting ready to happen, right? You go and then you like. Oh, this, <laughs> this nigga keeps puncturing it's really dark my in here. Okay, so I didn't know this was gonna happen, but <laughs> but I got a Gucci bag. So <laughs> oh, <laughs> the Birkin it, it said shipped on right. on on the on the uh, order status. But how so. do you return to that? Because eventually, especially black girls, we be scarred. What if you keloid? You got these got tag on uh, big old uh, skin tags on your inner thigh because he keep biting you. Who how you gonna explain that? How you gonna explain that? <laughs> got all these? You got a tattoo over your bite marks? No, 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 no. You break up with me? Yeah. What's happening? You? Yeah, mm, she wouldn't let me drink her blood no more. <laughs> Hold on, now, now what? what? Yeah, man. At first she was like, "Let me get a little pint, half a pint." You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm drinking her blood. And she tripped one day. You know what I'm saying? We break up, and she like, "Ah, you can't drink my blood." I'm like, "All right, girl, then I don't want to be with you." Is this slang? Oh no, no. Literally, I literally. I had it like a nurse come in, drew some of the blood. And drew, I, <laughs> But bl- blood, that's just there is the side of blood is tough. I can't, I cut my little finger, I seen it, and I passed out almost. <laughs> I was le- leaned over in my sink, screaming at the top of my lungs. <laughs> so I can't imagine if someone purposefully decided, I'm going to harm you so that you can bleed. I, I would just every, pass out. every time you bleed, okay, it is painful. Yes. Uh, one of the COVID tests we did, which was the only time I ever did this, the Spectrum COVID test was a blood test. Uh-huh. Even that little prick, it, it don't feel good. It does not. It doesn't really hurt, hurt, but it don't feel like, oh, ple- and this then is it's cool. sore. It's it's like a it's sock. Sore. Yeah, you got yeah. yeah. Okay. No. That's not kinky. Mm-mm. No. Your body's like, here go, Army. Oh, my God. Listen, Again? I- I'm in, and I am petty, so I would want to do something to you that would be equally as painful. I'd be like, well, I'm waxing your butt hairs. I'm waxing all of your butt hairs right now. No numbing cream, and I'm going to get off on that. I just, I just, I'm not, I'm not here for it. And I, I feel bad for these women that decided, okay, I'll give it a whirl because of whatever thrill they got from him being famous or for him having charm. But like, first of all, you're not going to call me kidding. Like that's that's first of all the stupidest uh, pet name ever, kitten. Like th- uh, that's already a sign. I'm, like, I'm grown. Call hey. me cat. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> I've been called cougar, but you ain't calling me kitten. That's what I'm telling you right now. 
But I do. I feel sorry for them because that's got to be weird. Like, how do you go into a, a regular relationship after that? Like, I mean, come on. You must not really be into me if you ain't trying to have my blood up in your mouth. First day like, question. So you- have you ever drink blood? If so, what is your preference to yes or no? I want more of because <laughs> I just have a history and I want to be clear up front. <laughs> no. Listen, also, you just remind me of something. I hadn't really thought about it like that. You know, a lot of women get waxed. You talk about get your butthole waxed for the men. You can't, men can't get waxed at the European Wax Center. They don't allow it. Mm-hmm. But you really let a stranger open up your butt. Yeah. And, and whoosh, mm-hmm. another person whom you don't know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, man, because that first time you go there, it's like, hey, man. Right, how's it going? Full Brazilian. And you got to lay there and open up that butt yeah. to a person you never see before. Yeah, it be like it. And you just be, I be looking at their face like. <laughs> Trying to see if they gonna make a face when they see me. Like, is this normal? Cause I'm not. I'm not. You know, a connoisseur Angel of people's coochie hilarious. areas. So I'll be like, is does it look normal to you? you? So you literally, you're you're probably eyes locked the entire time for that reaction. Yeah. Are you. Yeah. What like, was that? You raised the brow. What What right, does that mean? That? It's, it's, too much, it's, too, it's, it's been. Too a I waited too long. Listen, after again, that huh? pandemic, everybody was uh, back to factory reset. Civil rights movement. Oh, yeah. your, when that wax is opened up, they say, oh, God, dog. Girls are like, it's been this months. Is, <laughs> oh, yeah. My my girl Lucy, I went once in the middle of this uh, Pandera. And let me tell you, she had to, I know her arms were burning, her shoulders. She like, oh, it's been a long time, Angel. I was like, girl, you already know it. <laughs> you already know it. She was having to take breaks and sit and talk to me. She's like, how the boys doing? I was like, they're doing great. She's like, really? Yeah, it's been a. <laughs> you are out of here. It's been some. She's like, I'm gonna go outside so I can take off She's my like, mask. Let me flip this fan on real quick. <laughs> she was sweating. I was like, I know, girl. She I got mask. She got mask fatigue. Yeah, I was Hold like, on, that's man. why I said do my brows first because I knew you were gonna be too tired. You were gonna have muscle fatigue. Be shaking over here. <laughs> Mess me off. <laughs> you are literally out of your mind. This woman say, I was supposed to take lunch. <laughs> Let me just take a 10. I can- right. She's like, I Angel, like, I get it. Angel, do you have anything next? And she's like, Angel said, no, I blocked this whole day out. Listen, Don't even worry about I it. Take your time. Know. It's going to be a problem, girl. Listen, I, I get it. I'm going to tip you real good because I know you're going to be done. I didn't sport you for the rest of the day. You ain't going to be able to work on nobody. Listen, these these <laughs> these women was walking back into the wax center and them coochies was Black Panthers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, they pulled them panties down. They said, we got to feed our communities. <laughs> you understand? We got to protect ourselves. Police brutality is all up in absolutely. the camp. Absolutely. You understand me? We got shotguns. It had a little beret on it. That thing was they hanging over top of the drawers waiting. <laughs> Look at who you came to see. <laughs> we the heads you better. <laughs> that is... <laughs> Over, like we have been here a lot longer. Sit here and do this with Angel. <laughs> Dog, you know, I haven't man. cried more. I'm not gonna what? ever do this. this I'm not gonna do. <laughs> Look at yeah, who you with the like, little, with the little. Did she do the little drop with the wrist too? We've <laughs> been here for too long, girl. It's been too long. I'm ready to go. <laughs> this <laughs> woman, yes. Yeah, somebody, you gotta cover baby Yoda's ears. <laughs> He just, we just got this baby. <laughs> he don't know what he oh signed up God. for. Oh, my God. Y'all missed this. Kev was trying to buy the boys Yoda uh, <sighs> before because he heard Kai wanted a Yoda. Kai, uh, listen, I got my eyes on that boy. <laughs> I'm talking about, I want to be like, man, Uncle Kev. Oh, Kai's already there. He we got a trampoline. I talked to Kai on, uh, uh, on Angel's DM, I said, what you want, man? Candy, popcorn? He was like, yes. He's like, I want popcorn. <laughs> when did y'all buy the trampoline? Uh, that was for Christmas. Oh, you bought it for Christmas? Yeah, and was, was it a surprise to the kids? Did they know? No, they didn't know. Oh. Melissa got it for him. Me, Greg, and Zezay put it together. It was actually fun. I bet. It was fun manhood stuff. I Probably bet. Time. <clears throat> well, I hope y'all bought it using honey. Because you know what? With honey. I hate it here. You're able to get... 
all the good things Everything while saving money, okay? Because thinking is overrated. Between work, home, school, kids, relationships, the world, you've got enough on your plate to think about. And that's why Honey is here to make one aspect of your life less complicated, okay? Let's save money, people. Just add Honey to your computer for free and shop on lots of your favorite websites like normal. If Honey finds a coupon, it automatically tells you applying the correct codes and dropping the price in a flash. Mm -hmm. Boop. No thinking, no remembering, no searching, just blissful automation. It's already found over or found on over one. Oh, excuse me. It's already found over one billion in savings automatically. Um, I know with you all starting to decorate, we're about Listen, to be, be redecorating. We're going to be using honey like crazy. We got, we got, uh, we just had a design meeting, uh, -huh. uh, for the, for the bathroom, the bullpen, the, uh, and then the, like the lobby mm -hmm. of the, of the thing. So luckily, you know, we shop online all the time. Right. The thing I like about honey, it, it kind of reminds me of like your grocery store card, your rewards cards. When you have it, you just go buy what you need. Exactly. And then you swipe it at the end and you watch the price drop down. You don't have to say, okay, I got to get this. I got to get that. Honey is allowing us to buy what we need and then just be surprised by the savings. Yeah. And I love that, shopping online and getting those discounts mm. without having to think about it. Uh, and I listen, man, we don't have to get what we're going to have to get, but honey going to have to save a little bit. Come on. Honey is literally a no-brainer. In just a few seconds, you can have one less thing to worry about so that you uh, so what are you waiting for? Excuse me. So try Honey today at joinhoney.com slash SK. SK. That's joinhoney.com slash SK. SK. Yeah. All right. So Angela's out of her mind. I am not. You, you came in here and you was being utterly ridiculous. I'm not. Kevin. I'm you, here for it. You put this in here. That's what you I did. I did. I... <sighs> You did it. I thought, you know, because we've been doing the love hour and stuff, I try to be open to stuff. And then every time I'm reminded of, like, where I started from. Mm -hmm. And I'm just a church boy. Mm -hmm. I had a summer 99. You <laughs> that know what I'm it. saying? Yeah. And after that, it's just been one woman down. I don't know what it's like to date in these streets. I don't know what people be on. I don't know how you, you don't casually bring up, let me drink your blood. There's no way to, like... Red, yellow, green. Yeah. Butt no. stuff is usually that's, that's where people draw the line. Yeah. Butt stuff is probably like most people are like, I don't know, butt stuff. You, right. Blood stuff? Mm -hmm. Blood stuff? That's, I don't even that's, know. I, I feel that. like that's an uns like on a like that. physical health thing. It's ugh. that's gotta be a like blood. That's a lot to say I want to ingest your blood. It just, it does sound like a whole lot. Like, it's the same. I've been with Marcus for so long. Like, to bring up something that random, he yeah. would be like, you are never watching my kids ever again. Listen. <laughs> that's butt stuff, threesome, that's like, okay, hey, this is where I got to see you. You know what I'm saying? Right. I can't even imagine being like, Liz, for our 20th anniversary, <laughs> want to spice it up. Be like, okay, what you talking? Want to drink your blood. I'm, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I'm sorry. I want sorry? you to prick this week start. I want you know what I'm saying? We can ease up. I'm going to just, I'm going to go to thumbtack. I'm going to boom. I'm going to lick a blood. She'll be like, we're closing down the app. So like, apparently, um, you've say, got too much say, stress. Joe, get, get your things. <laughs> right. Um, actually, leave your things. Kev, get your things. <laughs> right. Uh, you get your things. Listen, <laughs> you, if, if she walked out on me right then, I'd be like, okay, you no, can't ease into no, blood. There's no. I, so, like, so women are having to dodge these type of weirdos on the dating scene. That's what's crazy. This is why people think I'm joking. The worst thing on earth for me ever, mm -hmm. outside of death, is losing Melissa. Mm -hmm. I don't think about how much has changed since you started dating Marcus. What, what yeah. year did y'all start dating? In 2004. Okay. Melissa and I started dating in two, May 15, 2000. Okay. I have not had to entertain another woman since May 15, 2000. Oh, yeah. man. I, Josh. Josh. <laughs> uh, this, is that what these girls is asking for, Josh? No, no blood <laughs> talk, luckily. <laughs> luckily. I mean, Lord Jesus. The worst ever is having to go back on the scene and now people are drinking blood on you. I thought it. you was freaky. Yeah. You, you were talking about blood stuff. Well, girl, that's not sanitary. <laughs> right. Uh, there's a lot of levels of freaky. I don't even call that freaky. That is just insane. That's dangerous. Yes. Yes. And this is not to say, listen, you out here living a single life, have a good time. It is not for me. 
Listen, I, I love my wife. I'm fully committed to her. I love her. I'm working diligently to be the best husband I can be to her. It's fantastic, And Kevin. love her as, as as through every change. You know what I'm saying? Big change. Going from both working different jobs to coming together, running mm-hmm. a business. It takes a lot of work. Yeah. Army Hammer just reminded me of my purpose. <laughs> okay, it ain't never been no no issue. Right. But if this is out there, uh-uh. I'm just like, man, what? That's right. so far from like, what? Yeah, and I just saw that randomly on Twitter. I saw his name trending. And I'm like, what is this? Also, Army Hammer is just good grief. Just I was like, name. I was thought it was. I'm tell you, when I saw it in the docket, I was like, oh, there's a stripper. I mean, that's stripper porn star. That's what I thought. There's a porn star who wanted to, like, do a pun on the baking soda. Right. Arm and Hammer. But he calls himself Army Hammer. I was like, how creative. And then once you said this is a real actor, I was is like. Is this his oh. real name? Do you know? I that doubt can't it. Be his full legal, I doubt Kevin. it. Let me see. His name is Armand Douglas Hammer. He's born 1986. Armand. And then over here, Freak a Leak. 80s were a weird time. But it Man, wasn't that weird. I work. lived through there. I was not that weird. You were 28 when the 80s started? I am going to kill you. I like Kevin. the song. I am going to kill <laughs> you. He was literally three years older than me. Three, and he'd be like, the whole, you two decades, huh? Two decades <laughs> older, right? Uh, yeah. That's your boy, though. All right, in other news. Please. Uh, it's been a crazy week for democracy. Oh, man. Okay, I don't know if you guys are familiar. Bro. <laughs> a certain group of whites oh, stormed the Capitol to overturn an election. They did. To protect democracy. They did. Okay, make that make sense in your mind. They did. Okay. So now uh, they're starting to reap some repercussions of that. Josh, if you would place the video here. Please. There's a video. Can I play the song? I love the song. Oh, the song, the song was magical. <laughs> We're already demonetized, so we might, as well, we might as well play it. Look, from this moment on, from, right? We literally just... That, that was, that was, that was it. it from right us. here. Make sure to click sensitive issues because you. Oh, I'm just, clicking everything. I'm just literally... Everything turn, you can The toggle say. is off. There is no... We're going to have to pay YouTube to put this up. Y'all owe us, <laughs> can we just, you owe us 40 bucks. It's tax, tax to 30%. <laughs> Google's doing it. Just, can we just... So what happened was, after the insurrection... Um, the 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 people who were protesting, this is what they say, uh-huh. peacefully protesting, mm-hmm. uh, they started to face some consequences. Okay, lots of them are on the no fly list. Uh, so these people are they? getting this. And the best part of the no fly list, for whatever reason, it works like this: the people board the plane, <laughs> put their stuff up in the overhead bin, and then are pulled off. Okay, they're not <laughs> being stopped at the gate. They are like- getting. We want you to go through that walk of shame. So that is shame. And, and <laughs> shame. And let me tell you where they're not flying is first class. Uh, so they got a long ways to walk <laughs> yes. and plenty of they phones to cross. Plus. No. Oh. You got to walk from 34B mm-hmm. yeah. back to the front. You and people are the, calling you. You B with the middle seat too, Kevin. They had to wait and load in uh, zone three, <laughs> which is the worst because you sweating trying to get your luggage up. And then they waited. Let, let them get buckled in. They called the name right let before the standby. Yeah. Could you go and put your seatbelt on? Sure, sure, yeah. sure. Would yeah. you like anything to drink? Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> are you? Officer, are you? He's you was right at here. The, you was, mm-hmm. at the Capitol? 30B. Let me holler at you, play boy. Go, 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 go. Yeah, yeah, we go. Grab your things because you're not going. Mm-mm. Yeah. Where you're, yeah. You're not yeah. going there. Yeah. So then when they walk out, people are like, Terror. Terror. <laughs> it's literally like Cersei I walking like down the shame. So, so I, I mean, white people tears. Oh. Okay, and white people, I mean, I've been going at y'all a lot <laughs> the last week. And I need y'all to understand. Wait. It's gonna continue. It, yes, it's we don't care. To, Y'all want to blame all the blacks for black on black crime? Uh-huh. Y'all gonna have to earn a white on white insurrection? Say. Y'all saying, but what about Chicago? But what about the Capitol? That's the new what about- black people. We got our thing. <laughs> But what about, about the, the capital? Because y'all want to blame everything on black on black crime in Chicago. Mm-hmm. Hey, but what about white on white capital insurrection? Because it was white folks on white folks. That's white on white terrorism. It was. It but was. what about white on white terrorism? Yeah. Black folks. We got our thing. But what about What about capital? white on white terrorism? So the dude was crying in the airport. <laughs> the airport. <laughs> he said, I can fly. <laughs> they call me serious. I, I said he gonna cry in the car. I Literally. don't get how they don't think that 
like that is what's so, so shocking to me. You literally, literally broke federal law. Literally. They didn't even have to force themselves to wear a mask because they should have already been wearing a mask in a pandemic. Oh, right. Gosh, Angel. Literally, the entitlement in your mind. <laughs> I'm going to break into a government building. Yes, absolutely. Record myself. Smear dookie on the wall. Dookie dookie. Record myself in the act of a crime. And post it. And post it. And then just be like, okay, I got to be back to work on my right, right, Take right. a photo with we the speaker's podium that you're stealing from a federal building. With a smile. I don't understand the entitlement that you, like, and I get, I get why people's entitlement. They literally don't think anything's going to happen to them because things rarely do. They yell at the cops. They push the cops. They do all this stuff. And they just feel like I'm finna just go home. And the, 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 the like, audacity of caucasity. Come on. Tells you that, that you will mug. face zero, zero consequences for this. I just can't believe there wasn't a getaway car. They were like, no, I'm going to literally, <laughs> I'm going to fly Bruh. legitimately home. Not, <laughs> we, we, what we going to do is we going to attack the Capitol and then you going to get an old dude's F-150 and they going to drive you back. They were like, no, 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 no. I've already bought my. This is how oh, they're getting yeah. home. <laughs> this, this is how. I walk in, I walk in, I walk in. Y'all, you flew to DC, okay? But this is you walk into Texas. Come on, hey, hey, hey. Cause you, you're doing this now. Yeah, walking. <laughs> not even kick push. You're not even about to oh, <laughs> lose a fiasco. <laughs> no skateboard. No. No flight. And you're not getting no refund off that ticket. How you getting home, guys? How y'all getting home, Terrence? I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm walking. I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm walking. I'm walking, I'm walking. How y'all getting home? I'm walking, I'm walking. After y'all stormed the Capitol, how y'all getting home? <laughs> You're walking. Oh, somebody was like, they, uh, <laughs> that would have been a good one too. Somebody was like, there, I'll walk it out. Walk it, I'll walk it we out. Walk it. Playlist. Terrorists walk it out. White boys walk it out. Proud boys, boys walk, walk it, it out. out. <laughs> walk it out. Okay, I'll walk it. We I'll got walk a it. whole playlist for y'all. Let's walk it out. Yeah, I just walk, can't. Put in front of the other. <laughs> they really. I mean, oh, the thought. By step. <laughs> day, day, randomly. day by day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, I, I just can't even get over it. They really, and then the uh, what's so funny was watching the white ladies be taken out of the airport. <laughs> Right after they landed, and they were like, "I'm just going to try to plop my 125 on the ground, and no. that'll stop them." No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, on my flight home yesterday, I was literally praying that I was going to be able to experience something like that. Oh. I was. I, I've never been more excited. When I saw those videos, I've never the the music on the on the video, everything brought so much peace to me. Just like uh, anybody can get it. Yeah. Listen. They were so like, we are strong, we are this, we are that. The the one dude, the, the dude with the face paint and the no. um oh, the horns and the horns, he's in jail. Yes, he gets uh, to have a vegan <laughs> diet in jail. I need my I need my organic food. Yes, because he's a shaman. Okay, I what we were supposed to be the snowflakes. Mm. We were supposed to be the crying whiny baby lip tarts. Mm. Okay, y'all the ones who's supposed to be strong. If they all on Facebook apologize, they losing jobs left and right. Oh, but they I got better. home. People called me a Man. terrorist. This one dude was like, I, I, the dude who had his foot up on the thing. He was like, I didn't. First of all, I was pushed in. <laughs> was he pushed into that seat to that comfortable said, position? First of all, I was pushed in to the Capitol. Okay, <laughs> they are not figuring out now. There's a website called Parlor just taken offline mm -hmm. uh, a little while ago. These people, okay, now let, let me know that the people didn't think the insurrection through. No. Apparently, <laughs> the they insurrection. didn't think it through. They were just like, let's meet up there. Uh huh. 
The capital pings your cell phone. Every cell phone. What up, Goose? What the, the, the capital pings your phone mm -hmm. when you are in, so uh, uh, within, I think, a certain amount of feet to it. Uh -huh. So their cell phone telling them that they're there. Uh -huh. Some people on this part of website uploaded their actual ID. Damn. To verify themselves as what, what's called a verified citizen on Parler, mm -hmm. then planned the, the insurrection, and then <laughs> hackers got into Parler and found these people who were admins and were like, "Oh, this is this is your boy. I'm going here. Here's my ID." So these people are landing back in Arkansas, and the police are waiting for them at baggage claim. Yeah, and they are just like. Oh, how did you know? I'm gonna get in trouble for that. I didn't know. I thought I was standing up for the country. What? Listen, they gonna think differently. I just can't. I don't. The fact that they thought that they'd be able to just go home normally, that they could just hop on a plane Man. and go home, just do whatever they want. Next time, they are going to have to get home. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna have to come up with like a bus plan or something else because this ain't gonna work. Uh, and uh, I can't figure out a way to get into this ad, so we're just gonna go into Ship Station. <laughs> All right. <laughs> If you sell stuff online and you know how busy 2020 was, oh, I know it was for me. Man. Everyone and their dog was shopping online. Yeah. Well, get ready for 2021. It's going to be even bigger. That's why online sellers like you need ShipStation. Mm -hmm. No matter how much you sell, ShipStation makes it super easy to manage and ship all your orders from all your sales channels faster, cheaper, and more efficiently. I literally had a meeting yesterday with um, my niece who is uh, helping me with Mama Likes and my assistant, and that was the first thing I said because I did my fulfillment this year, uh, 2020. I will never Listen, Angel, do it again. You cannot do. I saw how Melissa was just like, oh, yeah, my stuff came in. I sent it off so they can ship it out. I was like, you did that? Mama ships next time. This, yes, because let me tell you, I had Kasa and Lil Marcus putting in labels, putting in all the stuff. You ain't got to do that. Not They're with ship, ship station. station. They're going to make it streamlined and easy for you, Angel. And they do. And this is the part that I really like about them. They work with all the major carriers, including USPS, FedEx, and UPS. So you can compare and choose the best shipping solutions for you and your customer. Because that was a huge part. Oh, I wanted wow. people to be able to get their stuff mm. the best way possible. And to be able to have these options with ShipStation, I know I can do just that. ShipStation even offers um, big discounts on shipping rates. Now, any business can access the same discounts usual reserved for, usually reserved for Fortune 500 companies. You'll always know that you're getting the best deal. So get 2021 off to a great start by visiting ShipStation.com. Just use our offer code CREW, that's CREW, K-R-E-W, to get a 60-day free trial. That's two months free of no hassle, no stress shipping. Just go to ShipStation.com, click on the microphone at the top of the page, and type in CREW. CREW. That's ShipStation.com. Enter the code CREW, K-R-E-W, ShipStation. Make ship Happen. Listen, my lisp be messing me up when I say that. Listen, I was your husband, us. whom loves you, yeah. said, "Come on, really? I've seen carpet transition to concrete better than that." Because he's a <laughs> jack. I had an idea in my head, but I've, it felt too convoluted. So you I set said, the bar so high. It's hard. It is. Listen, it's I, you, you. You you've got Michael Jackson Beyonce problems now. You know. You have set the bar. You got to knock it down. You got to stumble through an ad. You got to do what I do. I know that's why I'm gonna have to bring it all the way back down. Like that's what I was telling somebody. I think I was telling your wife. I was like, this job for me is like the hand that fits into the perfect glove. Like this is Cinderella to a slipper, except for the ads. That's the only part where I feel like I have to work. Everything else, I'm not working. This is just regular conversation. This is just, I, that's there is the, in your brain. The part is ratchet behavior should be like. <laughs> Connected to do not do. Oh, it's your not. ratchet behavior part is connected to do. Do first. Yeah, one of your <laughs> connecting piece, the synapse. Why should it not be do? Why no, your ratchet go? should be like okay. Should go ratchet behavior suppress. No, and then release sometimes. Your no. ratchet behavior is like breathe. No, ratchet behavior. Mm -mm. <laughs> this is what I want you to understand, Kev, so you can fully understand where I'm at. The more you turn into this man who has Gucci purses and and um labels the more ratchet i will become you becoming your authentic bougie self who i've, I've always meant to be i uh, listen big leap was 2020 what's this 
this is this is who I am. <laughs> He's like, I'm, I'm the land. Twenty twenty. I'll never make the Cardi B mistake of of putting it out. I won't do what the Kardashians do. But my friends, oh, they know. They know. I mean, you're kind of showing it to more than. Well, your this friends. is this is not Cardi B behavior. This is just. Honestly, I said this joke and keep your distance. I don't think it's aired yet, and I don't know if it will air. Purses are great. They are. Men, I be having... You guys have seen me. I got too much stuff in my pockets. Okay, look at my car keys. The fact that you have <laughs> to put your man hand into that little, that little crossbody okay, purse. Let me, let me put my St. Laurent wallet down. Oh, okay. 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 Now, that I got that at Essence. Okay. Okay, I got that at Essence. Brisha brought me a really expensive wallet. Now I feel like my bank account matches it. Yes. There you go. This is just regular. If they made Gucci chapstick, I would. No. Uh, I would. It would I want not be better. G, I want to put little G's in my. Okay. I don't like. I don't like. You didn't want like a crossbody like backpack? You wanted I got purse. that too. But like you don't carry that. You Dennis carry that. Got, I'm, I'm about to switch it over. Dennis got me a Hugo Boss messenger bag for Christmas. Is that why? Is, oh my gosh. And so I that's just not, didn't have time to switch it over. Look how big the Maserati key is. Those are. And then all your other keys. Jeez. Okay. Keys just. I can't have this in pockets. You can't. That's a lot. I it's give a you lot. that. Women. I, now when I get to the point of carrying snacks. I remember one time. <laughs> Melissa purse. I kid you not. She was like grab something in my purse. She had a soy sauce packet at the bottom. <laughs> like, yeah. at what point were you like, ah, oh, let me just drop? Let Why would you ever drop a soy sauce packet in your purse? Because she might not have had pockets. They don't always put pockets on women's clothes. But why would you need, like, soy sauce? She your- could have been taking, getting, like, um, what you call it, sushi to go. It was like, oh, I need some soy sauce. Let me just give me some. And then put it in her purse. But did she, okay, <laughs> even if that's true. At some point, she had to go in her purse and be like, oh, I don't need this soy sauce. That thing was in there for like a year. Kevin, I had a microphone in my purse. <laughs> a whole entire microphone and tripod. How big was, how big was your purse? My, uh, hold on. Hold on. This one that I keep forgetting to clear out and I use. You had a microphone in there? In my Dooney. Mm-hmm. Is that Dooney and Burks? Yes, it is. It's not Gucci, but Listen, I used to make fun of to hear. Dooney and Burke is cool. But listen, I, I used to, when we was uh, coming up, I bought her Dooney and Burke. It wasn't. It was like, it was Donnie, really. <laughs> this this thing, is a real one, but uh, I got I, her one, and that thing was like, oh, I'm, I'll be bleeding now. <laughs> All the letters was like smoothed over to the side. <laughs> <laughs> it was like Dooney and Burke. <laughs> but, but, um, uh, but yeah, so the more you become that person, the more you are going to hear. I feel like it's my grandmother speaking through me. These yes. are the type of things that she would say. And I love it. Yeah, so I I I true I literally was hot from <laughs> laughter because you were just like ridiculous. Okay, now before we go, I wanna how do we go? This was been on the docket, but the, the whole terrorism thing kept pushing it down. Okay. And I don't wanna always talk about white terrorism every week, mm. but we will touch on it because it's a podcast of all things. It is. Uh William or Will I Am says it hurt that the Black IPs are not considered a black group oh. just because they had huge international success. Here is mm. William. If you were Panasonic headphones or Sony headphones, you didn't know Beats was just going to come and take your lunch. Facts. And so, so in 2007, in 2004, Black Eyed Peas, we, you know, we were just trying to get on. You know, we're not like when you think of, like, I'm a black dude. But when you think of Black Eyed Peas, we got so big that, and it hurts, it kind of hurt my, it still hurts a little bit, like we're not considered a black group because we got that big. And and and, and when you think of Black Eyed Peas, you don't think of, it's no longer like urban or black culture, which is, which is, which is, uh, it's not good for the black community <laughs> I'm sorry. black eyed peas not is not looked at as a, <laughs> it's not a, a black group because we've had international success and that should be that should be credited to the black community more so than letting it be adopted but that that's just a, a, a thing that we suffer from all the time like when you think of jazz you no longer think of black anymore when you think of rock and roll you don't think of black anymore like that, all that, 
That just, I, I don't know why we have that. When you think of uh, even country, you don't think of black. Like a lot of the things that we create and we invent, we dispose of or it gets stolen from us to the point where there's no association to its origins. Um, so to answer your question, I... I okay, that's easy. I, I'll take your thoughts off air, Angel. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I don't. I don't want to hear what you it, you, When you make your front person a white woman, <laughs> like, I, don't don't get me wrong. I love Fergie. I've loved her since Kids Incorporated. She was on Kids Incorporated? Kids Incorporated. Yeah. Really? K-I-D-S, Kids Incorporated. I did not know she was on that. Yes, the drugs made her not look like it. She. Them drugs. She was on them drugs. Woo! Drugs is a powerful thing. Man. But them like, drugs was like, hey, you want to look a thousand? <laughs> <laughs> we, we can help you get there. <laughs> oh, she looked like Baby Yoda. Um, <laughs> so, like, when your group is not majority black, regardless if the origins came from a black person, it's going to be hard. And for, when people think of black eyed peas, they think of Fergie, I think, before they think of Will I Am. Listen. And she's as white as they come. Here's the thing, Angel. Now, I am not going to hold you. I, you know, I'd be honest about my music stuff. I did not know that the Black Eyed Peas started off as a hip hop alternative group. Okay, they, when they, this went viral, uh -huh. I didn't know Kim Hill, a black woman, was the first original lead singer in the Black Eyed Peas. Oh, I didn't either. Okay, I didn't know them until they do, you know, their pop hits. To me, the Black Eyed Peas, and I'm not being mean. I, I literally am just telling my honest opinion. I love Will I Am. I think he's very creative. Yeah, they remind me of like LMFAO. They mm -hmm. make. Yes. I just got onto a cruise music. <laughs> okay, you know they have those like oh my God. pineapple drinks with the umbrella top. The and, Black and Eyed Peas make you great cruise entry music. Oh, I hate you. In a, NBA playoffs, Kia commercial music. Oh, now there you go. That's very Kay. specific and very true. Stadium music. Yeah. As far as like, you know, the it's at a timeout. You know, yes. you, let's get it started. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's get yeah. it started. Yeah. In here. Yeah. Like, I, I ran a daycare. Yeah. They love the Black Eyed Peas. Yes. We used to be down to it, down to it. We used to be loving it. <laughs> the hip hop alternative. So, Kim Hill, who they have a short documentary about her. It's called, uh -huh. like, Almost Famous or something. First of all, beautiful soul. Uh huh. Beautiful soul. The Black Eyed Peas is not, not considered big or black because they got big. No. Okay? <laughs> the, Kim, and then they, they didn't kick her out. Okay, this let me. This is her words. She said, "The labels, not even the guys. The labels were like, we need to sex you up. Will I am needs to be grinding on you." And she was like, "Nah, though. Actually, a great story. So let me back up. Please. Her, her story is really great. She was a black woman who went to a white school but lived in a black neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So she said she was always code switching. Mm -hmm. She went to school. She sounded like a white girl to fit in. She got around her black friends at her neighborhood. She sounded black to fit in. One time, she had a birthday party." And her school friends came over and her black friends were over and she was like, oh, crap. Like she stuck code switching, code switching, code switching. Her mom was like, because she never saw her code switch at work, at school. She just uh -huh. heard her talk black. She's like, what, what are you doing? Like, where's your voice? Who are you? Where's your voice? And she said when the label was like, you need to grind and be more sexy. And she's like, well, I am. It's like my brother. I'm not finna, like, that's, right. I'm not finna dress skimpy. Like, we do hip hop. I don't need to do that. So she was like, I see where this is going. I, my voice is more important. Who I am is more important. Mm. So she quit the group. Oh, and then God. shortly thereafter, <clears throat> Fergie came in. Pop success. So I don't remember Will grinding on Fergie. I don't remember it either, but Fergie was. I mean, Fergie was doing everything. She was. Leaping in the place. <laughs> Put your hands in the air. <laughs> Will I am. Drop and I. And boom, boom, boom. You remember when she looked like she pissed on herself? Boom, boom, boom. boom, boom, boom. She had sweated so bad or either she pissed herself. I don't remember which one happened. Um, yeah, they didn't make him grind up on... That's so what I'm saying. But she was willing... To, Fergie was, was willing to fulfill the sexy role that the, the label types wanted. Kim mm -hmm. Hill was like, I'm good. Right? So you're not considered... There's a lot of groups who are big and they're still considered black. What happened is you didn't stay true to your authentic hip-hop alternative group, yeah. you went pop and you got the success. Now, now black is cool. Yeah, I mean, it's always been cool, but people are going out of their way to be authentically black. Man, I was talking to Brandon the other day and it's like, it warmed my soul. Please. Did you buy some Aldo's? No, <laughs> never. Oh. Watch the Kevin on Stage Studio vlog on the app. 
Brennan is our business partner for the app. He said, because we was on a meeting, right? Brennan is our boy, and Tony is white. Tony Valentino's white, mm-hmm. okay? Um, and Dom, the other part of their business, is an Asian dude. Brennan said, this is the first time in my life that being black has been beneficial. Mm. He was like, when they first started out as transit pitchers, they, he used to have to let Tony do the talking first. Wow. Because people wouldn't respect him, mm. even though they had equal, like him and Tony came up together. Yeah. They had equal things, but because he was black, they were like, nah. But if Tony did it, they would get all these grants and yeah. gigs and stuff. Now he's like, yo, Kev, because of you and who you are and how you operate, I can be who I am. Mm-hmm. And being black has been a benefit. Like, I... I I, I I almost cried Aww. because blackness always holds us back in the like rise the ranks. Yeah. You got to tame your blackness. You got to tame how you speak. We all worked corporate jobs. Yes. We was in there just, hello, Kevin Fred, you were getting money. <laughs> big, 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 <laughs> at Bank of America, hello, would you like to get a home look? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just goofing it up. Going in the song, Kevin. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'd have to go back into the break room and remember who I'd have to watch uh, juvenile stuff, cash money records. I had to watch super black stuff. You know, we just had to, in order to survive, we have yeah. to understand whiteness and, and move through it. Mm-hmm. At our company now, I remember All Deaf was the first company where we was like, we going to be ourselves. Yeah. Because we were the majority. Mm-hmm. You know, the white people was like, I've got to speak like them. Now, they ain't going to say, you know, right. they understood, but... Black culture was the dominant culture in yeah. that office. That is not the norm for most people. It's not, yeah. And Will I Am, like, I get it. Like, I get it. You, you did what you had to do to be big. But that, that you changed who your uh, initial thing was. We didn't change on you. No. If you stayed true to that alternative hip-hop music, and if y'all didn't stay big, black people would have stayed big. And I don't think nobody dislikes the Black Eyed Peas. No. And I don't think they had... I think they could have still been on alternative pop and all that. Your group is mainly white, though. You got a so white you got Will I Am, the Apple D app. Is he black or mixed? I think he's mixed. Okay. And I, I was just say man. white. Because they do have a plethora of colors, but it doesn't make the group black then. You, if Will I Am and then half of somebody else is all you got. And Apple the App is, I don't know. He's not black though. I think he's either, I don't know. The man with the straight long hair. Yeah. The fact that you be knowing these names. I on only now. know because I watched the documentary. Um, and then, you know, Fergalicious. So they could sing whatever. Like you could be an opera singer and you're still part of black culture if you're black. Yes. The thing is the group, the 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 what you call it the demographic of the group drastically changed when your front person is a white woman well you switched out a whole black woman <laughs> yes okay 100 percent. right and let me go we got we got a whole white now yes okay it ain't the same look it's and Fergie not. wasn't in the back she was in the front i think when i think of the black eyed peas i think of fergie so the part that is just sad and maddening to me is that he is equating why they are not considered a black group to the wrong thing. He's blaming us. He's like, the fact that it's not a part of uh, black, it's harmful to black culture. No, what was harmful is that you took a black woman out of, uh, uh, put didn't replace a black woman with a black woman. Right. That, I mean, because it was, it was Kim's own decision. and Or they could have just protected her and said, no. No, we're not doing that, and we're sticking with her. Yeah. Right, the that, other dude's Filipino, the uh, stage crew saying. Okay, Mr. Uh, Filipino. Taboo. Apple the app. Oh, Apple Apple the app is Filipino and black. Okay, okay. Apple the app is Filipino and black, and Taboo, Taboo is, is, Mexican, is Mexican or Native, Native American or Native American. And then you know Fergie. Fergie is, is good and white. Or, organic whole white vitamin D. I'm talking about whole foods. Whole white. Fergie is <laughs> not. <laughs> <laughs> National wow. anthem. Wow. Kim Hill, black woman. Black woman. It's like to say that people who have international success cannot wow. be claimed, or groups that are have international su- success cannot be claimed as black. Listen, Lil Nas X, black, a uh, black boy making country music mm. for everybody, but right. a lot of white people consume that. Yeah. Nobody was like Lil Nas X ain't black. I just he's. He's lost his he uh, his point is mute. 
the the fact of the matter is is that it doesn't have to do with so much the genre. Black Eyed Peas would still be considered a black group if they had a black lead singer. Yes, that's to say uh, Michael Jackson, regardless of what the heck he was on in the last of his years, we still claimed him, even though he was the biggest international. That is actually, the best example ever. Right. This nobody <laughs> was a bigger act in pop music. Like I'm. Confused. Michael Jackson is the king. Of pop. And, and nobody think Michael Jackson ain't black. I mean, even though he had vitiligo. Right. He, like I said, and, and, and was relaxing his hair, doing a lot of and things. And even the nose. And the nose. That was a lot of things that was pulling him away from black culture, but we were like, that nigga's still ours. That's, 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 Michael, that's Michael Joseph. That's ours. That's Michael Joseph. We don't even know what he's doing behind closed doors. He's still ours. We're going to pray for him out here. <laughs> Okay. Say, Michael Joseph Jackson Michael Joseph. was the biggest international star in the history of our time. No one will ever be as famous as a musician as he will, yeah. as he was. Yeah. And black people never thought, ah, he's too big to be us. Yeah. I just, I, I don't. So that, I'm like, what are you talking about? Will, you have to take the blame for this. They ain't got and no the cruise. They ain't booked no cruises in a while. Blame. I ain't it's seen. I ain't heard. Boom, boom, boom. That, boom, boom. boom. That daycare kids, Gotta boy. My the school age crew. We used to come back from school. <laughs> Got that, bro. And their music videos were crazy it's too. Great. Yeah. I enjoyed their music for what it was. For sure. It's I never put it on on purpose. Uh, yeah, right. But it, when no, it it's came perfect out, for like, um, what you call boom, boom. it, cycling. Boom, Zumba. Boom, boom. Yes. Come on. I'm trying to Big get that. Big Zumba energy. Yeah, come on, girls. Here yes. comes the hill. <laughs> yes. Come on. Let's get it started. Hurrah. <laughs> Let's get it started in here. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Lose control. Ooh, boom. Ooh. Body so boom. I was, yeah. I'll take a Mai Tai. <laughs> Liz, you want a, you want a Mai Tai? They're having Mai Tai. Look, there's no right. room. Look, our room's not ready yet. There's little umbrellas in here. Look <laughs> yeah. at that. No, we'll just sit out by the deck. I was in. I was here with the black eyed peas. They have the perfect. <laughs> grab my <laughs> visor. Music. That's what their music is. It's the perfect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. yeah! Oh my gosh. I love that. <laughs> Black Eyed Peas. Boom, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. Everybody. Shot, shot, <laughs> shot. Same energy. Oh, nice transition. The cruise was so lit. We were we went down to Ensenada. I don't remember and they played anything the, other than that one song. Anything. What was that one song? Gotta get that. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Gotta get that. <laughs> Why are you getting excited? <laughs> I love we they had an ice sculpture. <laughs> it was so amazing. It was in the shape of the boat. <laughs> <laughs> I'ma tell you, that's it's contagious. Though that music it and is. being around white people and those sugary drinks. I remember I was in Vegas, I was in shape, I had on my two piece, and I was at a pool party and I said I wasn't gonna get in the pool because I was like, it looks like a cesspool. It looked like just a, like it's probably where COVID had started. <laughs> and I got in the pool because I got so drunk. And this white girl was drinking. She's like, you want some? And I was like, yeah. And I was like, what? It's good. Oh. You drank a white no. woman's drink? No, I didn't. Oh, but I was saying, God. yes. I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you and Jasmine, you and Jasmine Sullivan. Right. I'm losing myself. I am losing myself. Girl, get it together, girl. <laughs> I bodies on bodies on body. I said, this is how it happens. Because we were in the pool. Just, yeah. Oh, too many hair flips and bounces, yeah. Angel. And I had my long braids. You want to just you want to just kiss? Wait, yeah. what? Wait, what? what? No, no, wait, what? Well, I'm, I'm sober it, now. in that? What I want to order that. I want to yes. drink your blood. <laughs> wow. All right, what? What? I want to drink your blood. <laughs> I, I haven't had enough drinks. I'm so sorry. That's when the white girls, they have you ever, oh, you probably haven't. Have you ever danced with the, the white girls and then they want to put their coochie on your Leg. What? You don't know that? No. White girls no. love that when they dance. With, you know when girls are dancing with other girls, but like you all both thought y'all was straight when y'all got on the dance floor, <laughs> and they drunk and they're just like they put their crotch. They're like, yeah. <laughs> and it's just like if you don't get your monkey off of my leg, I am going to punch you. Y'all don't know. I'd have been to enough. That's what they do. They were like, oh yeah. Angels in rare form. Yeah. <laughs> They do. They love to put that crotch, that hot crotch, on your thigh. Yo. <laughs> it happens. You don't get your monkey off of my leg. That's what they do. 
What is your problem? <laughs> this is what happens, Kevin. It's the truth. <laughs> Have you ever danced with white girls? Listen, they love to put their coochie on your leg. They do. When it gets that song gets great, they're like, come on. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. That's their version of like grinding. Is that how they twerk? Yeah. We front twerk. <laughs> we don't have the butts for it. Yeah. Where everybody's got a coochie though. Let me just put my monkey on your thigh. Yes. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> Woo! Gotta get that boom, boom, boom. And you just like, I uh, need you to get that boom, boom, boom off of my thigh. Oh my God. <laughs> it's the truth. People in the comments, they know it is, it happens oh. all the time. And they be your, they be your friends. And you just like, hey, we not friends like that. Though. Now your jeans smell like coochie. Yeah. I'm like, girl, you got on drawers. Get your, get <laughs> my your jeans thing off of my. Like, <laughs> my legs smells like white girl coochie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. I do not. Uh, Super Super Superbad makes a lot more sense. Than <laughs> uh, I have a headache in the back of my head. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Right here from laughing at Angel. Mm. Man. See, they said that. I'm not I lying. I believe it. it. It's the truth. They be. Yeah. I live in the UK. Angel is right. They do. They get excited and they want to dance with their <laughs> black girlfriend. <laughs> they do that side wiggle on your thigh. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta get that. <laughs> Woo! Oh, man. Next time you go on a cruise. I don't know like white women getting near me like that. <laughs> yeah. I just never, even when I was a kid, I never. We'll sacrifice Josh. Josh, go and do some, <laughs> do some, here's the thing research. Yeah. Dance with some white woman on a, on a booze cruise to Ensenada and see if you get your leg grinded off. Josh will be like, I have no more thigh hair on both of my thighs. They've completely. It's got these little patches. <laughs> it's weird. They've completely rubbed it all off. Uh, <laughs> this is just a joy. It is. I'm we're happy back. we're back. Man. The energy so is back. We're happy. different. We're back. You just, back. you just, Angel is, you, you boy. I had a twenty calf. Visionary moment. I need Being a, full, I need a sticker of Angel like this on uh, my laptop. This is just <laughs> one episode. She did all that stuff. Let's, this is why I'm so glad we have these mediums. Like. Angel, you're a great stand-up comedian as well. Thank you. But off the cuff, it's unscripted, not. I'm not really thinking about what I'm saying, Angel. <laughs> just recalling just today's episode. Blue, blue-eyed Angel. Oh yeah. Okay. Look at who you came to see. <laughs> we the hands you better. Hair Angel. Okay. White girl grinding on my thigh, Angel. That's just today. Get that monkey off. Get that monkey off. Get that boom, boom, boom off of my thigh. That's what it is. That's just today. Listen. It's, you've got a great perspective. Oh. Thanks, guys. Hilarious. So listen. If you're on the app, you get a, another version of this uh -huh. on Friday. Every Friday. Friday. If you're on the Patreon, you get to experience this live. Our Patreon is just... It'd be popping. It's a community. It's really, it is. That's the only best way I can explain it. It's a community of like-minded friends. We in the community. Supporting one another. Our Patreon member, and I didn't even ask for this. I, I meant to change my cash app. Send us 200 on the oh. budget. Je Jen Buck. She always be wow. blessing. Jen. That's Jen so Buck sweet. always be blessing. She wants the app to succeed. And let me tell you, it is. Black people got... And that's what I'm saying, man. Black people got our back. I ain't going to hold you. Mm -hmm. uh, Jim Bucks in $200 for the 30% in the KOS vision. KOSS vision. Oh, that, just, that was just right now. That was just this was about uh, an hour ago. Let me tell you. Uh, so if you want to just help, just get the app. Mm. That's all we ask. Mm -hmm. If you get the app, you, you, you're in the vision. Okay? Yeah. Um, keep your distance. Four-pack tickets. $10 each. Ooh. Really? $40 total. This is Melissa's idea. Oh, I was confused. <laughs> I was like, wait, four tickets Melissa's for $10? This that can't idea. be good. This for... We got my childhood hero, Arnest J, on mm -hmm. this show. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. New announcement. We booked Gary Owen. <gasps> really? Yay! For the February, I'm going after the big people now. Come on. I'm calling the, I called my agent and said, listen, how about instead of booking me, who, who do you have that we can book? I can't even tell y'all who we're out to. Okay. I can't wait to hear. I can't wait so, to their book. And you, you, you can get them all for ten dollars each, forty dollars right now. That's on the website. And I meant what I said when I'm working on such and such. Work on such and such. I'll tell you after. Okay. I can't wait. Uh, so listen, we love and support you guys, or we love you guys, and thank you for your support. Uh -huh. uh, <clears throat> watch the Love Hour tomorrow on Melissa's YouTube page. Watch the challenge show. I'm telling y'all right now. I was giving eight, nine minute long clips. You ain't getting all that now. Ain't getting all that no more. You gonna get. Five minutes tops, more than likely three minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
Uh, we just giving away too much. No, that yeah. If you want to see the hilarity that is to hear, the competitiveness that is me and Kev, and the ignorance that is oh, Tony. It's great. It's you great. you got to get the app. He's going to get a new show on the app soon. We're developing all types of stuff on the on the app soon. We're building out the soundstage now. So make sure you guys get your tickets. Get your we all our support comes with perks. You support us by getting your tickets to keep your distance, but you also get to enjoy the show. You do. You support us by buying the app, but you also get all types of amazing black content. You're going to get to the end of Netflix. And you pay yes. for the year, that's one fee. Pay for the year. And when the yeah. price goes up, you already paid it's it. It's not coming back down. Because after we found out what Apple and Google take, mm. the price has got to go price up. The brick going up. I got to say one thing before we finish. Okay. It's nothing bad. Okay. Because this airs tomorrow. So happy Founders Day to all the devastating divas of mm. Delta Sigma Theta Sorority. <laughs> Corporated. I think we're 108. 108. Yeah. Happy it, birthday. It'd be hard to do the math. I I might be. Yes, yeah, 108. Yes. Happy Founders Day. What year was Delta uh, founded? 1913. 1913 on the campus of Howard University. Howard University, which is the school I would have went to if I would have known my blackness, Listen. or Melissa would have went there. Listen. Either of those two things would have happened. <laughs> Melissa would have went to Howard. But if I could go back in time, mm-hmm. I would love to have. I I had. Such a good time at Howard. Yeah. Oh. It's so black. That's I, I agree with you. It's so black. That might be one of the only things that I go, why didn't I just go to an HBCU? But I don't know if I would have met my husband, so I'm just going to be where I'm at. Yeah, I, I, I'm thankful for everything that happened in my life. Yeah. But mm-hmm. when I went to Howard, I had a show there. We swag surf. My black spirit just ascended. Did it. Did it. it was so black. They were so young. Oh, Angel. He was just. Janae Eichel was there. She had a great set. I loved every moment. Who? What is happening? Janae Eichel performed there. Oh, that, but you loved her live performance. I loved it. Ari Lennox performed there too before uh, Shea Butter Baby came out. Very nice. I was in the green room with Ari Lennox. We also bought her drinks. No, oh, no, no. We saw her in Essence. Mm-hmm. Saw her in Essence. Did we buy a drink? No, we were eating dinner and she was walking by. And I was like, also. Last thing, you're right. If you listen to me and Angel and Joshua, we love Tiny Deskus. Please do yourself a favor and watch Jasmine Sullivan's Tiny Desk. Mm. This girl is in her B.A.G. She really is. That little Duffy. Josh. Mm -hmm. It is, and I I have watched a lot of Tiny Deskus. She is coming into her own even more than she was before. She's oh, already yeah. been a great artist. Oh, yeah. I'm it's, not even like, it's not she's on the scene. She's been on the scene. Yes. But it's kind of like, she's giving me the feeling that when Beyonce did self-titled. Yes. I was like, hey. Something's about to happen. Something about to happen. And then Lemonade. Mm-hmm. So it's technically it's an EP. Hotels is also an EP, which is great. Tale song, tale song. It is a great story. Mm-hmm. And as a, if you're a black woman, I know a lot of my audience is. Black woman, you probably can connect with it on a more spiritual level than I can. Mm-hmm. But I love the story element, and she's she's speaking her truth. I love it to music. So mm-hmm. please check out her tiny desk and her album. And her album is one of the best R and B albums. Oh, it's, I've it's, heard. it's my favorite R and B album, and yes. I know it's only January. It's gonna it's, be really hard to beat. Jasmine, can you please come on the show so we can Jasmine, talk to you? Just, I love Jasmine, you. Please, it's me, Kevin. It's and me, it's Angel. Her Angel. We love you. We would love to talk to you. You are one of my favorites. Back when you did Round Midnight. That's how long ago. You remember when you recorded Round Midnight? See, you remember. Long, many, many a year ago. Many, many a year ago. Mm. All right, we love y'all. Patreon, we will see you live on Friday. This episode will air on the app later today. Josh, when you ever just, when you put it up, just put it up on the app live. You don't have to schedule it for tomorrow. App people just get up whenever you're done. Okay, I think I did that for the bonus. I think I just put it live, didn't I? No, yeah, yeah, but I'm saying this, you don't have to schedule tomorrow at oh, 6 a.m. As soon you. as you get okay. it done, I got go it up on the app. And I started thinking, I was like, wait, did the other one go up? And I was like, No, no, ah. no, you did it right. Okay. But you just scheduled that with the other ones. Throw it up on the app as soon as you're done. Okay. So you be at people, you get it on Tuesday. Okay. Don't worry, AKs. I'm going to give y'all love on Friday. That's y'all's day. All right. We love y'all. Love our airs tomorrow. And we'll see you Friday, Patreon. Everybody else next week. Here's another banger for you. Here's another one. Here's another banger for you. Here's another one. Here's another banger for you. Here's another banger for you.
up bang a fire With my boy Kev on stage And that chick angel